So when you're lapping and you're not using something that's totally flat, you have to keep alignment with the object that you are lapping upon. So if this was a completely flat plane, I could take this piece that has this pencil on it and just go randomly any which way. But I can't because this has a shape like this and a shape like this. And on this piece, this axis is shaped like toward that so that it's um you see there it's a curve and I have to maintain the curve and the way the way I maintain the curve is I ensure there is no yaw so I have my lapping surface I can go anywhere on my lapping surface I just have to keep the long axis of this aligned with the long axis of this or actually in this case because this stone is special I aligned it the incorrect way. This one has one broad shape and a more dramatic shape this way, which is the way that the people that make the razors do it. As I read in the 1846 textbook, this one can be used to reduce the thickness of the bevel to the rear side of the bevel away from the true cutting edge. And by doing that, I'm just going to take my crappy piece of instantly curling fine grit sandpaper and put it on there and I'm going to wipe until those pencil grit is gone and as long as I keep that long axis aligned with this axis this nine inches it'll keep its shape it's okay for the thing to curl just find a spot that you can get as long as you don't do like this or like this because if you do that, you're going to have a shape that's going askew down your hone, and you want it to be aligned with your hone. Okay, now I'm doing like this here. It just takes a second, because I've already made the shape, and so I'm just topping off the shape. I got a little bit there and a little bit down there. This is this is where this thing's gonna go bare first because uh, you can see it's really thin over there. And that's the furthest distance in outer space, so to speak, of the special shape that can't be specified. Gotta go to OnlyFans to see more about the shaping. Let me see if I can get that other little bit off of there. All the way to the bitter end. Note, I am aligning that little part as best as I can. Okay, we're good on that one. Let me get the other one and give him a quick lapping. So this is the one that gets the heavy mileage. And he'll go the conventional way, this way. All good. Uh, Codicles are non-porous, but uh, you know, there are limits to that, and the teeniest bit of ballast is getting in there. Very, very little, but nothing to write home or worry about. I like to take the leftovers and top off my heavy hitter, the Arkansas Stone. Here's the glorious 3x10 Arkansas Stone. Uh, this is an extremely hard thing to shape, and uh, you will continually wear too much here, so I try to use the periphery more. Uh, but in time, you will eventually have to hit this thing up with the surfacer. If you, you know, I'm, I'm still even as the business dies, I'm, I'm still honing, not less than four times a day, and so all of the honing is going on this rock, and uh, it only, not only, it, it, it took four years of regular use with the prior shape to make a spot that I could measure on this stone that required it to be resurfaced. But when you change that shape to be a more dramatic version of that shape we can't talk about, then you will find that your maintenance goes up. It's just like having soft tires with a lower tread rating that don't last as long but grip the road better. Uh, or you can have rock hard tires that last 80,000 miles and you never get the traction during that 80,000 miles that you would get if you had tires of a higher specification and stickier rubber 
that require more maintenance. That's just the way of the world. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Look at that. So, gonna give him a little bit more here. And to dry off my Arkansas stone after I rub it with this codical juice. You can hear that box fan in the background. I like to go put it next to the box fan. And you spray isopropyl alcohol on it. Because isopropyl alcohol greatly speeds up the evaporation process. Not that the rock gives a shit about how quickly it evaporates, but I want to use this as the backbone for putting for, for my hanging strop over there for a razor that a customer just purchased. So I need to um, get it dry so I can do that. Lovely surface. Lovely surface there. This surface. Passes the test of the light behind you, you can't see. There you go, let me show you there. Look at all this. Look at all these chickens. Okay. But then if I push down there, it's going to go like this here. Okay, I'm going to take my shaper and put it behind my surface. Now we shall have the magic sounds.